Okay, so what I have here is determine the principal that must be invested at 7.5% for 20 years, so 500,000 will be available. So again, we're talking about compound interest, right? We're looking at, you know, we're given a rate, um, and it says that something is going to be compounded monthly, sorry, at 7% compounded. There you go. I said the kind of the key word that I needed to use that I noticed it wasn't up there was the compounded. It's being compounded monthly. So therefore, since I know I'm talking about compound interest and I'm compounding for a certain amount of years or a certain times per uh, times per year, I know that I can use this formula. All right. Remember, A is going to be your final amount, which they're asking for. When is the final amount going to be five hundred thousand? A is going to be our principal, what we're trying to solve for. Where R is our interest rate as our annual interest rate in a decimal form. N is going to be the number of times we compound per year, which is monthly. And then T is going to be the number of years, which is 20. So therefore, I'm just now going to plug in all this value. So I have 500,000 equals P, which we're trying to solve for, 1 plus our interest rate, which is 0 0.075, divided by 12 raised to the 12 times um, T, which would be 20. All right, so then, ladies and gentlemen, what we're simply trying to do is solve for P. So this is P times all of this. So what I can simply do is just divide this whole answer or this whole product on both sides. OK, so to do that, now I need to compute what this is going to be. So 12 times 20 is going to be 240, but I do 0 .05, 0, sorry, 0 0.075 divided by 12 plus 1 raised to 240. And then I do 500,000 divided by second answer. And therefore, for me to have my retirement at 500,000 in 20 years at an interest rate of 7.5% compounded monthly, I'm going to have to have an initial principal value equal to 112,000 87 dollars and 9 cents. Okay? So there you go ladies and gentlemen, that is how you determine the principal when given a final value and all the rest of your information. Thanks.